Come watch me cook some yummy Indian food for friends I made in Rome. Hi, I'm Brida and I was solo traveling through Italy. Lorenzo left me all alone in Rome and let me tell you figuring out life without him was a challenge until I met Andrea, an absolute angel who said, "Ciao bella, I can take your picture." We started talking after and when he found out I was traveling solo, he asked if I wanted to hang out. Without thinking about all the Sabdhan India episodes I've watched, I said yes. Andrea was the sweetest. He took me to dinner, introduced me to his friends and gave me the best recommendations. I went off to Na- Napoli and Amalfi after that. But when I returned to Rome for my flight back, Andrea invited me to dinner again. This time, I met even more cool people including Filippo who made the yummiest rice and curry. After some gossip and chit-chat, I told them I had only a day left in Italy and offered to cook some Indian food before I left. They said yes. This is me and Filippo deciding on the menu. The next day, Andrea and I hit the market, grabbed all the veggies and spices I needed, and even got little plants as gifts for everyone. He made some mouth-watering pasta that was out of this world for lunch. The plan was to cook with Filippo but he was running late so I started without him. I did get help from Andrea. I made chickpea salad, mushrooms, dal, palak aloo and when Filippo finally arrived, he jumped in and made rice, roti and papad. I served the food and they were so cute trying to eat with their hands. I felt right at home. We ended the night with some music, singing and honestly, my heart was full. I feel lucky to have found such amazing kind people. It sure is true that you attract the kind of energy you get. That's it for this one. Until next time, sayonara. This is Meeru Dathurana signing off.